again welcome 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 once again to my channel of fox business my name is ufus godwin a marketing professional and a marketing trainer on fox business we talk about marketing and sales and show you the various techniques that you can use to run your business or your organization smoothly today we are talking about cold calling but before i talk about cold calling let me edge you and let me remind you that if you have not subscribed click on the subscribe button subscribe to my channel and help the channel grow share comment and like most of in code calling is seen as a, some form of intrusion into people's privacy the prospect might not be expecting your call does not know you have not spoken with you before but you need to make a presentation about a product or service to this prospect let's look at how or some of the techniques that you can use to uh, to do cold calling effectively so some of the cold calling techniques that works credibility credibility is the first thing you need to ensure that whoever that you are calling you put up a credible gesture towards that particular prospect so start the call with a professional intro let the prospect know who you are your position and then the name of your organization what the organization does the kind of product that your, your organization produces the service the organization produces don't give wrong information don't give false information don't try to describe your company to be a company that is not speak with confidence even though it's your first time speaking to the prospect be patient and as a matter of fact try to ensure that you make your introduction very clear and simple to the client you could even let the client get to know that you got a contact where you get his contact from either from linkedin or maybe from facebook or from the company's website right you you try as much as possible to let the prospect get to know that you are not intruding his privacy so that's the first thing to do is be credible when doing a cold call the next thing that you can do or the next technique to use when doing cold calls is as a matter of fact to research very well research your own company research the prospect company research competitors and research the market try as much as possible to get facts and information that will help you to give a clear picture why the prospect should buy from you know a lot about your prospect his position his influence and his i mean i mean his position in the decision making unit is he a decider is he a financier etc but most very often do your research and make sure that you are speaking to the appropriate person you see we have the decision making units right each of these members within the unit comes together to make a buying decision it is better to research on them these days most companies have data and information about their staff or their managers etc on their website research plan before you call keep every information that you need handy information on your own products your prices everything should be handy with you even your terms and conditions right so that if there's any question that comes up you'll be able to give instant answer and not to tell the client that you need to call him or her back right plan before you call keep every information handy you can research on linkedin you can research on social media and you can have a lot of information about some of these key decision makers make sure your research gives you accurate information on the organization or the prospect 
that you are going to make the sales pitch to. The next thing to do is to look, take a look at timing. Call at the appropriate time. Making cold calls at certain times does not work. Time, as they say, is precious. Right. Research has shown that making a cold call or calling someone on Friday afternoon to introduce your product to is just not the best. It is the worst mistake that you can make. Monday mornings too are also not the best. As at that time, people are most people are preparing for their weekly meetings or maybe preparing the week the week and will not have enough time as a matter of fact to attend to your call. They might have meetings and they might have certain things to do to I mean open up for the rest of the week. And so it will not just work well for you on Mondays too. Now, what days work best? Wednesdays and Thursdays are absolutely superb. By that time, people are settled during the week. You see, Monday, coming back from the, the, the weekend, I mean, social activities, etc., people had good time. Mondays, they are busy with meetings and also trying to go over the, I mean, what is, what is known as the Monday morning blues, right? But Wednesday, Thursdays, it's very effective, especially from 9 to 4 in the evening, right? It is great. So from 9 a.m. in the morning to 4 in the evening or in the afternoon when people are closing, it is very nice and it's very workable when you make code calls on these two days, Wednesdays and Thursdays. People are then settled, right? And so would be in the right time and in the right state of mind to attend to you. Research has shown that cold calls that are made on Wednesdays and Thursdays have very high conversion rate. Don't forget to also look at time zones. If you are prospecting internationally or selling or going international, time zones may differ. So you need to make sure that you research on the time zones to know when to call. The next technique is don't push or rush the sale in the first call. Don't rush the sale in the first call. As soon as you call, you want to just get the sale. No. Your cold call is an intro or an introduction. And it's, and it's time for you to exchange information with the prospect. It is then time for you to exchange information with the process and so machine gathering session okay the number one goal here is first to build the first contact and then continue with the relationship and build a win-win relationship with the prospect so you tend to learn about the needs and wants of the prospect at this stage don't expect to close sale at this stage and i repeat don't compel the prospect at this stage to get the sale. Don't rush. After speaking with the client, make sure that you add the client to the list of prospects that has been qualified for the next stage. Don't push or rush the sale quickly as soon as you make a call on the prospect. This will short circuit your entire sales process and you will not be able to convert that lead. Instead, see the cold call as an initial stage of relationship building. Another thing that every salesperson who does cold call must understand is that there have to be follow-up. So the next thing is follow-up. Cold call does not end when you finish speaking with the prospect. It doesn't end there. 
you need to continue with the relationship you need to continue with the relationship to so good call does not end after the call no build relationship after the call if you have the prospect's email address quickly send an email to the prospect quickly send an email to the prospect this is to strengthen the conversation and to also as a matter of fact keep your brand on the mind of the prospect it tends to remind the prospect there are times you can even send greeting cards to the prospect if possible you can sign the prospect onto your newsletter this keeps you in the memory of the prospect make sure the email contains details of that particular product that you educated the prospect about including price and any extra information and as a matter of fact include your next meeting time and try to remind him of the next you can even book up a meeting with the prospect in this same email it works perfectly and it keeps you in the mind of the prospect another simple thing that you can also do is to offer or give the prospect an inexpensive promotional gift for example let's say a calendar a pen holder or maybe document rack etc with your logo etc on it just to remind the prospect or it could even be a pen drive to remind the prospect of your brand thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button it is free to subscribe and watch out for more videos thank you